you did uh, play uh, – I don't think you played a regular season game, but you were with the New England Patriots. I, I'm curious, in your short time with the Patriots, uh, you know, you got to be under Bill Belichick, who, you know, I mean, his name speaks for itself. Uh, yes. what, what was that experience like? What did you learn from uh, Bill Belichick <laughs> during your time there? It was tough uh, going in because I knew physically, even after the surgery, I knew I couldn't, you know – keep up with a lot of the receivers that were starters, probably even nickelbacks at that time, because my body was just not able to, uh, to do it any longer. And so when I got to New England, there were certain things that I did in Kansas City that got me through days, that got me through weeks. I wasn't able to do it in, in, in New England because I was still trying to make a team. I was still trying to make a starting lineup. And so I couldn't take certain reps off. I couldn't do uh, you know, uh, certain things within the team to give me my body the the, the proper um, well healing time that it needed, and so uh, I was pushing and pushing and pushing and trying to get that spot to where it just didn't work out, and so it came down to the I think the last preseason game of the of the uh, of the year, and uh, you know I got that tap on the shoulder that nobody ever wants to get, and uh, you know that was it for me. But I, I there was a, a that was a great experience, you know the. Uh, New England is a, a well-run program and, and to see how Belichick treats everybody within that organization, because, you know, you look at Tom Brady and what he means to that, that, that team in that city, you know, he was treated just like every other person on the team. You know, that's one thing that really surprised me was because if he did mess up, you know, if that, you know, coach Belichick would treat him the same as he treated everybody else uh, because for playing for that long, you see how, uh, certain players get special treatment. And heck, I kind of got special treatment when I was in Kansas City. Like I said, I didn't have to run every play. I didn't have to do everything within the practice because I needed the, the, the time for my back um, to not flare up. So uh, I kind of got the same thing, but not to that extent as to what, you know, other guys did. Uh, and so to see how, you know, he treated Tom Brady uh, was, uh, was eye-opening. It was like, hey, you know, we're all the same out here. But that's why they went. No, my brother and I have always joked, uh, you know, Tom Brady's probably the guy who just gets to sit out quite a lot and, and just kind of gets to do his own thing. Um, I, I, my friend Kyle, he, he had a question. He's a huge Tom Brady fan. In fact, he's the one who runs the um, uh, the the Real Chiefs fans page. He wanted to know kind of what it was like to, uh, to be around Tom Brady. And I don't know if you can maybe compare, and I, I don't know exactly how long you were in Foxborough, but – here in Kansas City, we finally get that experience of a superstar in Patrick Mahomes. Can yeah. you kind of see similarities in Brady and Mahomes and how they get treated with that superstar? With the star treatment, oh, of course. You know, Patrick has done phenomenal for the few years that he's been in the league. And, uh, you know, all granted to what he's done for himself. Um, the guy is a special talent. And just like Tom Brady, he's a special talent. And to see where Tom came from you know I think it was a fifth round pick you know playing behind Bledsoe um I wanted I think he was a fifth fifth round pick uh I think it was sixth round uh sixth. but but yeah he was like that's for sure yeah late late pick either way and and you know to see how um you know as a kid and we try to push little kids to do so much to be faster, to be stronger, to, to be tougher. And the thing I always tell kids is like, as long as you give the effort, you know, uh, as far as what you want, the position you want to play, uh, learn it. Learn your craft and give the effort 100%. Because you don't have to be the fastest. You don't have to be the tallest. You don't have to be the biggest. Tom Brady might be the slowest guy in the NFL and has, has probably got the most accolades than anybody. Um, and I just enjoyed to see the little things that he did on and off the field. I, I, I guess I got to hang out with him twice and it was, uh, an award cer ceremony that they had in, uh, in, in New England and Tony came, Tony Gonzalez came down, uh, with a few other, um, players that were named for these awards. And, um, heck we went into this bar afterwards and, literally people just cried when Tom walked in and Tom doesn't go out for appearances as much, you know, his time is practice and he's at home, um, you know, 
doing his thing. So when he stepped out, you know, I, I literally saw people cry and I had never really seen that before. You know, I, I, I had, you know, hung out with, uh, who was my man? Uh, I, heck, I'd been out with Charles Barkley. I'd you know, seen Michael Jordan out and uh, all these other people. And I've never seen people just cry. So and then, then Tom steps out and I literally saw people cry. I was like, man, he's on a whole new, he's on a, a different level. He's up there with Michael Jackson <laughs> type of star face. So 